Kasu can I say for those of you who are not Ugandan, you are most welcome to Uganda. <laughs>the Development Bank of Belarus, a new funding partner, and of course, in the same vein, welcome China Africa Fund for Industrial Cooperation, a new $10 billion fund with whom TDB expects to establish a strategic partnership in the coming months. This is a special annual meeting as we will be taking stock of the closure of the 2013-2017 corporate plan and inaugurating the commencement of its 2018-2022 plan. Mr. Prime Minister, TDB has supported Uganda over 12 transactions in the sectors of banking and financial services, manufacturing and heavy industries, agribusinesses, other financial sectors include real estate, health services, telecommunications, and infrastructure. Friends, the world around us is being organized. Countries are being grouped together, strengthen their sub-regional trade. East and Southern Africa must not be left out. We must facilitate trade by reducing administrative barriers to trade and building a strategic development plan. We have to build roads that will link markets to facilitate cross-border trade. With these remarks, I declare the 2018 annual meetings of the Board of Governors of the Eastern and Southern Africa Trade and Development Bank officially open. I thank you. In the years ahead, the bank plans to support member countries to make progress towards the SDGs as reflected in the African Union's agenda 2063, with consideration of the various trade and sectorial strategies of COMESA, the ESC, SADC, and EGAD. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning during the opening session, I will report on some of the highlights of our 2017 results. And of course, there is a bigger set of results about what has been achieved over the past five years. Your Excellencies, 2017 was the final year of our just ended corporate plan and it is pleasing to note that the bank had yet another good year with operational and financial performance continuing its upward trajectory. The assets, capital and profits of the bank have all continued to grow robustly while asset quality and credit ratings have also improved. I am confident that the remarkable journey of transformation and growth will continue in the years to come 
with the strong direction and management we have in place. Six years ago, in 2012, when we set out on our five-year plan of 10 to 15 percent annual growth, we never expected to, to exceed our five-year targets by a breathtaking 52 percent over our targets. This is what happens sometimes when you dare to dream and you get all the support to pursue that dream. And again, I'd like to just stop here to thank the members, the partners of the bank, and the staff for doing an exemplary job over the years.